Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Darren, I hope you're all well. Tiger's coming to play a visit already. <laughs> I should press the start button. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so, um, again, if you're new to my channel, then welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for returning. It is so much appreciated. Um, I've acquired a few more subscribers since last week, so thank you very much. Um, so this week I'm going to go through uh, what I've been stitching on. Um, I also got some uh, stitchy kindness, which I will go through in a bit. So it's really good. Um, so it's been very warm and muggy and wet here this week. So we've had storms and rain all week. Um, it was meant to be one this morning, but it, so far it hasn't materialized. So I'm assuming it's going to happen pretty soon. It's getting a bit dark. Um, so yeah, so if I hope you can hear me okay. I've got the fan on full blast because it is so muggy in this house. It's unbelievable. Uh, so, <laughs> so apologies if you can't hear me clearly, but hopefully you can. So uh, yeah, so let's get into what we've been working on. Oh, first of all, um, hopefully if you're watching this in time uh, i've got some zooms going on tomorrow so today's saturday so i've got zooms going on tomorrow um now good old google um uh, and it's brilliant wisdom uh, i was working out the times for people over in america and it told me the times but apparently they're wrong um i think it's an hour in front so if you are wanting to join the zooms and you are over in like the america area you may need to take an hour off the time that i've posted on the post in the Facebook group so again if you've uh, not joined the Facebook group and you are interested in the zooms a link to it is down below uh, you just need to answer three questions um, answer those three questions and you'll be accepted um, if you don't answer those three questions then you will get declined but again just try again so, so while I remember I'll do that part <laughs> um, another note as well next week I don't know if you're gonna get an update video uh, I've got my appointment with the specialist on Saturday, um, so it just, just depends what he wants to do, if I've got any tests or whatever to get done. So you may get an update video next week, you may not, so just so that you are aware if I'm not here. <laughs> right, I think that's everything I need to remember to say. I think so. So, here, yeah, kitty. We've got another one to join us. She doesn't like being held. But Kitty, kitty. <laughs> She's not very fetching a cat. <laughs> so right, let's get into um, what we've been stitching this week. So my first one is in my Karen Copen bag, <clears throat> and this is my Mirabilia. I'll just pull the card thing out, which is my Archangel. And this is being stitched on Witch Up Permian Linen, uh, 32 count in the colorway Mediterranean Sea. And it's 2 over 2, full cross. And I think I might do this in 1 over 1, full cross. We'll see. I still haven't picked up the courage yet to decide what I'm doing on that one. Uh, so I'll put a picture in of where it was last time that you'd seen this. And this is where we're up to now. Um, so this one only got 278 stitches this week. Um, but basically I've just been working in through the wing here so I'll come all the way down to the bottom of the wing part here now this connects up to the shoulder so I'll just start filling it in so I've still got a fair bit more to do on this wing it's absolutely huge <laughs> it's bigger than I thought it would be so yeah so we've got 278 stitches in on that one so that's it's getting there so that is my Mirabilia. Now the next piece I'm working on, if you remember I mentioned last week that Nicole from my Facebook, well from the, one of the Facebook groups I'm in which is um, Survival of the Stitches, challenged me to do 5,000 stitches on this piece which is by Charting Creations and it's Daydream Tigers. I'm working in this area up here and the pole started in this part and has gone across to here and has now gone that way 
Um, so I was to do 5,000 stitches and she was going to do 10,000. Um, but after we had a uh, discussion <laughs> after the last video, um, we've agreed that we're both going to do 10,000 stitches. So she's doing full cross, I'm doing 10 stitch. Um, because obviously I've got my college and everything to do as well. So I'll give you updates on her progress as well. So I will insert pictures of where she's starting from and she's already done some work on it. I think she's already done 1,600 stitches, I think it was. I'll put a picture in of what she's done so far. I managed to get in 510 stitches. So as I say, this is 10 stitch um, or half cross, however you want to say it. And this is on 28 count, easy guide, two over one 10 stitch. So this is where I've got up to this week. So I put 510 stitches in as I say. So mainly I've worked in filling in this part here, which is part of the tiger. So I've done all this part here and a bit over here and finish this loop. So I'm loving how the colors are on this one. So yeah, so that one's coming along nicely. So we'll see where 10,000 10, stitches get me. So obviously you should hopefully finish this page and part of the next page. We will see. <laughs> uh, the next piece I worked on then is in my sunflower project bag from uh, Nicole at Devaris Studios and this one is a piece by the Cross Stitch Studio which is my native wolf which is this one, excuse the glare and I'm working in this area up here at the moment and again this one is being done on 28 count easy guide and I'm doing it 2 over 1 10 stitch. Let's sort that out in a bit. <laughs> and this one got 556 stitches in on this one. But this is where we're up to on this. So you can probably see I've filled in a lot more of this section up here. So just going through the whites and the blues at the moment. Uh, filled a bit more in down here and a little bit across here, I believe. So this is where we're up to on that one. I think I'm about halfway or just over halfway of the page. Remember now that was turning out. So that's that one. The next one I worked on then uh, was my long dog sampler, which is pandemic, which I'm sure everybody's seen. Which is this one. And I'm still in page one, so up here. <laughs> now I'm doing this in Mrs. Seda's silk in the Chloe Pride. I'm doing it on a 28 count unknown fabric. <laughs> and I'm doing one over one full cross. Now this one got 291 stitches in this week. So hopefully you can see. Um, so basically I worked across, well start, continued on this part here and filled in this part. So yeah, so I've done from the green down and then from here down. So I've done all this bit. Hopefully this will focus in a bit better. So yeah, so I'm looking at this will turn out with the colours. That's probably a little bit better. So yeah, so 291 stitches in on that one. And then the last piece I worked on my super sized tiger family of the jungle. I'll work by Jan and Patrick Krasny. And I'm working in this tiger down here. And I'm in this section. This section, somewhere, right here. <laughs> and this one has been done on a 25 count easy guide. I'm doing it one over one full cross. Now this one, obviously, because I filmed on Sunday last week, didn't get as much stitching in as I wanted to. So I've got three, four, 490 stitches in on this one. So I didn't get much done on it this week, to be fair. This is where we're up to now. So all I've basically been doing is continue working from the top and filling in. So filled in all the way down to about here now. So about halfway. And obviously some of the colors ran down. So I've just filled those in as they're going down. Get the part fits out of it. <laughs> So you can see 
and the next stitch is there. <laughs> so I'm folding all the way from the top to there. So let's get in there. So hopefully I'll be able to get some good working on this one this weekend. So yeah, so he's coming along nicely. And that's all the stitching I've done this week. So so I think get an awful lot done on what I wanted to do. But it is what it is. Stitches is stitches, as they always say. <laughs> uh, so that was that one. Um, so let's get into my big box of goodies. So this is from um, Kelly, who is in my uh, one of the Facebook groups, which is the uh, Survival of the Stitches. So she was in there and just asked if she could send me a couple of little things. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Always good to have a box of goodies turning up. I didn't think she was going to send as much as well. I thought it was just going to be about one or two things. Now, two things I've taken out of this. So I've opened this already. Um, she sent some Frangie Panny um, cuttings <laughs> for Shane. So one's pink and one's pink and yellow. So I had to take those out um, and they're outside because obviously it took about a week just over a week to get here um, and then when it turned up uh, I got a message from the first officer that I've got some parcels left there so I went to pick those up and it was the cat food uh, and then I got home and there was a card in the post box saying that a parcel had been left at the post office and I said like, well why didn't they just give me it all at once <laughs> so I had to go back the next day so it's nice and full so I'll go through what she sent so first of all she sent some little treats for the cats <laughs> Uh, some little snacks. So, yeah, I'm sure they'll enjoy those. Uh, next thing she sent, she sent me some chocolate. Now this was uh, pretty melted. It was nice and warm when she sent off. <laughs> so it's all nice and melted in here. And uh, there was bets on whether or not I'd be able to keep it until my video or whether it'll be eaten. <laughs> so no, it's still all here. So she sent me two twin packs of cherry ripes my Hercules heel over here and then some double dipped cherry ripes these are my favorite ones <laughs> I've got two of them and she sent me a bag uh, of mini cherry ripes if you hadn't guessed I like cherry ripes <laughs> and then <laughs> a big box of block of chocolate which is now all deformed of old gold cherry ripe I've not tried that one We'll see how that one's going. It's getting a bit squishy, so I think you might need to go back in the fridge. <laughs> so I've got all those chocolates. And here's me trying to lose a bit of weight, and people send me chocolate. I don't mind, but it's not good. <laughs> and then she sent me a couple of um, thread drops, homemade ones, which are these ones. And these ones. So they're going to come in very handy. And then she sent me, now she's even put little tags on formula, so I know what they are. So this one is called a notions pouch for scissors, needles, floss, etc. So this has got beers and cardinals on it. And then it says if I can get into it. Yeah. On the inside it's just like a dark greeny fabric. So that'll come in very handy. And with that one, she sent me a matching ground guard, which is for an 11 by 17. Oh no, it's not quite matching. It's not, I'll tell her. This one's got hairs and money. There we go. And then she sent me another ground guard. And this one's for an 11 by 11 Q-snap. And this one has cardinals and robins on. Mm, so cute. And she sent me a new notebook, which is good because mine's almost full. So that's going to come in very, very handy. And she sent me project bag. So this one is 17 by 14 inch project bag. So it's got the dark green on the inside, same as the other pouch. And then that's the back of it. So 
Awesome. Because you can never have too many project bags. Because I don't have enough at all. <laughs> and they just sent me another one, which is for 17 by 14. But this one's got the, it's like a marbly blue on the inside. And then on the back, it's from the same fabric that the uh, can grab was from. So with your deers, cardinals, your hairs. So yeah, that's really stunning. And then she sent me two pieces of fabric. So these were all dyed by herself. So I've got 21 by 27 inch 18 count Ada, which is tea coffee hand dyed. So a nice decent size. And the back shows the mottling any better. I can't really see the mottling, it's not really picking it up. Oh, there we go. So that's going to come in very handy. Now this one might actually be the right size for doing starting Anzac on. I'll have to work it out. So we will see on that one. And then last but not least, she sent me another piece of fabric, which is 21 by 21 inch, 18 count Ada, hand dyed by herself. And this one's very bright. <laughs> so, it's a stunning piece. Don't know what's going on that one yet. I'm afraid the fans blowing it all over the place. But, but yeah, that's about right. That's about the right colour. So it's very bright. It's a stunning piece of fabric. So I don't know what I'm going to put on that yet. But thank you very much, Kelly. So much appreciated. Now, definitely going to come in handy. And now I can eat my cherry ripes. Let me just get off put back in the box. I'm surprised Tiger's not here. There's a box on the go and he's not here. <laughs> I'm assuming he'll turn up sooner or later. So that's everything that I've got for today. So, not an awful lot. Um, I was going to mention something, I can't remember what I was going to mention. Nope, can't remember. Right, so next week's Stitching Wives. Um, obviously, we're coming to the, towards the end of November now. So the 1st of December starts on Wednesday. So that means Christmas stitching is coming out. So that'll be um, my Posh Robin, my Reindeer one, Snowman, Joel Noel, and then one of my brother's pieces, which is Winter Wonderland, I think it's called. So they're all going to be coming out as from Wednesday. So next week will be the start of all the Christmas stitching. So that's going to be fun. Enjoy the Christmas ones and see how far we can get on those over the month of December. As well as doing my challenge with Nicole. So that's going to be real good fun. Um, so I don't know. I'm hoping to get some stitch with me done this week as well. Um, to go up during the week. Should be able to get at least one done. Hopefully. So I'll get that done this week as well. Hopefully, I'm going to aim for two, <laughs> but we will see what we do. Um, and that's about everything. So again, as I say, if you are interested in joining the Zooms, I'll say they are starting tomorrow, um, Sunday, which is my time. So it'll be Saturday night for Americans on that end, and Sunday morning for UK and Europe times. So they're all going to be done tomorrow. So if you do want to join those, I say either join the Facebook group and the links are in there or send me a message if you want to join um, and I will send you the link so that you can join in. Um, other than that, that's all I've got. So, yep, I definitely haven't got anything else to tell you. If I do, I will tag it on. Oh, I'm also going to do a, another video later on in the week as well, which is a review of a a uh, new product um, that is out and I like it a lot so I'll, put, I'll do a review on that for you and that one will probably be a floss you extra later on in the week um, so again hopefully you can hear me okay over the fans um, and I'm not ground out too much um, 
but I'll obviously when I'm editing this I'll listen and if it's too quiet then I'll do it again and you won't know about it <laughs> so thank you very much for watching guys um, again any questions comments please feel free to drop those down below or you can send me an email again email address is linked down below um, I'm also on Instagram as well um, on there is Dizzy Stitcher again that is linked down below as well um, I also want to thank as well everyone who has supported my channel uh, through the buy me the coffee link um, again that is much appreciated so that has gone towards the giveaway that I'm going to do once I get to 3,000 subscri 3, subscribers so not far now so hopefully by the end of the year I might have got, reached the 3,000 and then I can do the, um, the giveaway for the beginning of the year which would be a great new start for everybody so again thank you very much for all who's done that um i haven't had a chance to go on to the actual site itself and reply so if you have donated on there uh, thank you very much it is really appreciated um so that's everything i've got for you so again until next week or on my stitch with me whichever you watch um stay safe happy stitching and i will catch you in my next video so until next time guys thank you very much for watching much appreciate and i'll speak to you soon thanks for watching bye bye now